Hello again everyone, welcome back. We're going to take a look at another MRE Nation ration here. Uh, number 19, beef ravioli. I find it funny how the pasta dishes and some of the MREs tend to be some of the more popular ones. Uh, I think that the most watched video on this channel is uh, the spaghetti and meat sauce USMRE. I've always just found that kind of funny, but to each their own. So right off the bat we have our accessory pack. And just check that out real quick. Oh, there we go. So we've got the toilet paper. There was the pepper. Uh, sugar, sweet tarts hit the floor, coffee creamer, deep rich coffee, salt packet, iodized, woo, moist, uh, moist towelette, and the spoon. This one is similar to the uh, USMRE spoon, and there are a couple different, uh, well, there are like two different spoons that you'll see in here, so that one's like the USMRE spoon. And then here is the sort of standard kit, which will usually contain about the same items there. So we've got the True Lime, True Lemon, the fruit, we've got a fruit beverage power stick. A lot of powder in there. Sweet and condensed milk creamer spread peanut butter, apple jelly, hot beverage bag, and crackers, just standard crackers. Have the, uh, these are really nice heaters, these particular heaters. Sometimes you'll get like a uh, standard, like an MRE standard heater, and then you'll get these. They uh, have a little bit better reaction and they're a bigger bag. So it helps if you want to mix up, uh, you know, a couple things in there and get everything hot. Here's our beef ravioli, retour pouch, cranberry raspberry, cran raspberry, <laughs> first strike bar. Pretty sure I had one of those not too long ago, if I'm remembering correctly, and it was pretty good. And then we've got some just standard nut and raisin mix, MRE Star. So we'll go ahead and get the ravioli heating and then we'll get everything on the tray after that I almost feel like I'm wasting this bag a little bit with just like one thing in it there, there's so much room in here and it's kind of one of the gripes that I've always had with USMRE just the standard heaters all right, you can shoot your water in between those fill lines, which I overfilled just a little bit, but that won't hurt anything. And I like to lay it flat, let the water get into the elements. Try and engage. We are getting some lift off here, Houston. Yeah, we should be good to roll. And then you can either prop this up against a rock or something, or you can throw it in your uh, ration bag and kind of keep it in there for a little bit extra retention of heat. So I'm going to let that heat up, you know, 10, 15 minutes, give or take, and then we'll be right back and get everything on the tray. All right, we got everything out on the tray here. Heater did awesome as normal. Now I'm going to forego the jelly and the peanut butter. I'm not a big fan of the apple jelly and the peanut butter. I just don't really want right now. So those are definitely things you can save over. The sweetened condensed milk, I don't really see an application for in this particular ration, so I'm going to forego that. Uh, we are going to try a couple of little different things here. Uh, there was a request, well, actually, just do it now. There was a request a couple times now. So a few people have said, you know, what, what do you use true lime, true lemon with? I haven't really found an exact answer to that, although I'm really going to have to think back because there was one ration that I said, ooh, that would have been good to add into that, but I can't remember what it was. So anyway, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little lemon lime drink here and see how this how this works out. I really don't know if it will work, but a couple of folks have sort of asked about it and I figured why not. So I'm going to take the true lime, true lemon, and then our packet of sugar. And then we'll add that in here and we'll, we will see if this makes a drink or not. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, I got a big old hit of that like right in my nose. Oh, oh it burns. <laughs> oh goodness, that is something. I don't know exactly how much water. We'll try about a half a, <laughs> half a mason jar. <laughs> oh goodness. Wow, that really just shot straight up my nose there. That was interesting. I'll try a sip of that there. Okay. Um, so I think it might need a little bit of time to dissolve, but I definitely get the smell of it like a ton. Not much in the way of taste though but perhaps it needs to dissolve. There's still a lot of floaties in there, so. Hmm. Yeah, still a lot of floaties. Let's give that a few to dissolve. And seeing as we're just making drinks, let's go ahead and also make our fruit punch up. But yeah, not, those, those little packets do not do much uh, for, I mean, that's a very little bit of water there, so. And honestly, even these, these uh, power sticks or whatever you want to call them, they don't really, uh, they don't really keep their flavor through a ton of water either. So I'm just gonna use the rest of that container, but I've got another container. I like to water down my drinks quite a bit anyway, just to make the flavor last a little longer. But these, these uh, stick beverages, they, they don't, powders, they don't tend to, they don't tend to stretch very well either. So, anyway, but they are good, they just don't stretch very well. Oh, uh, let's see here, let's get out our uh, nut raisin mix. Okay, so this kind of looks like the one from, uh, oh, what were those rations? Gosh, I'm forgetting a ton today. Um, XMRE with the sunflower seeds. I mean, I know it's it's obviously MRE Star branded, but the XMRE maybe they just repackage them. But that's like the same mix. So the sunflower seeds, raisins, like an almond, <laughs> and then uh, some peanuts. But that actually looks like a slightly better mix than the XMRE ones. It's been a while, but the XMRE ones have less of everything and more sunflower seeds. So there's our cranberry raisin bar. Mmm. Smells very good. That that was surprisingly good. I didn't think it was gonna be all that great. I know a lot of people commented on the video, it's like, nah, that wouldn't be good, but it, it actually is pretty good. Not much of a hiss. I haven't really got a decent hiss off of these packages, although they are sealed well. And I'm just probably going to use those crackers to crush over my ravioli. Um, I think one thing that I would like to see for these rations is the implementation of cheese, cheese spread. It's one of the things that I love from just rations in general is, is just having a little bit of cheese spread, but I mean I get it. I'm sure most of it's cost effective, but that's another thing, like with ravioli, because ravioli can be really bland, uh, the ration ravioli. So adding that cheese spread to it and crackers, that's, a, that's usually a pretty decent meal. It's real hot in that corner. Holy crap. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, that heater does do some business, man. Goodness, it's hot. There's a lot in here too. Really do pack the carbs, don't they? Oh, ouch! Whew! All right, 
There's a little bit, <laughs> little bit of extra sauce in there, but I'm tired of burning my fingers. All right, so here we go. I guess we'll just start with the ravioli. Uh, let's see. Let's get some. There's a decent little bit of pockets. Hmm. So it's basically your standard like Chef Boy RD type of thing. Sauce is uh maybe a little sweeter than I've had it in the past. I'm gonna add pepper. And like I said, generally at least a lot of the pastas that I've had have come with the cheese spread. I would cheese spread it, Tabasco that bad boy, crunch some crackers, and then just kind of go to town. We don't have cheese spread, but I do have Tabasco sauce. I think another thing they could add, little sachets of Tabasco. I think most of us are pretty, pretty in on the hot sauce. At least from what I see in the cup. Who in the comments licked my finger? Whoa! <laughs> there was still sauce on there. Whew! I'm having a heck of a time here. Struggling. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. A little crunch, a little hot, a little pepper. That's the way to go. Let's try our, uh, mix here. There we go. Not bad. Has a slight package taste to it. But I do love raisins. I know a lot of kids, a lot of adults too, don't like raisins, but I do. I think they're great. Hmm. Let's try our <laughs> cranberry, raspberry cranberry bar. Hmm. That's chewy. <laughs> Much chewier than the, like your chocolate or your peanut butter bar. But again, I think it's good. I'm not a huge cranberry person, but add a little raspberry, make it into like a 1990s power bar with crisp rice in it. <laughs> and away you go. It's good though. I do enjoy it. It's it's a bit of a change of pace. Let's try a drink. Fruit punch. Mm. Not a huge fruit punch fan, but it does a trick. Like I said, you just can't can't add a ton of water to it. Just doesn't uh, doesn't like to be overhydrated. I'm gonna stir this one more time, and we'll try it again. Again, this was a true lime, true lemon. Packet of sugar, very little bit of water. Maybe like, what, four ounces? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not super exciting. You, you, you mainly get the lime kind of takes over. The lime kind of takes over, and there, it's not enough sugar. It could definitely use some more sugar, but you, you you certainly get a citrus feel. I think if, you know, we let that set a little bit, that does help. So if you just need a little extra citrus, then there, there you go. You know what? I'm feeling real crazy. We've been mixing and matching a whole bunch of stuff. Let's do a, let's do a science experiment, a little Bill Nye science experiment. It's like a bad night at the bar when you just need to get a drink and you start pouring random crap into a cup. Not that I've ever done that. Hmm. 
Actually, you know what? That's not half bad. That's not half bad. Kind of gives the fruit punch a little bit of a, well, a little bit of a citrus bite to it. Dang. I should do that more often. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad at all. If you don't like citrus, you won't like it, but yeah, okay. I guess I can jazz up my fruit punch a little bit. So, anyway, that was that's the meal pretty much. Uh, we do have a couple extras, obviously, like I said, but you can sort of eat those on the go or whatever. Normally in the field, you wouldn't necessarily sit down and eat this whole thing anyway. But as it sits, um, yeah, everything was pretty good. Again, normally I've never been super impressed with uh, with pasta in rations. It's usually just kind of tends to be a little bland, but with a little doctoring, it's pretty decent, but straight out of the package it wasn't bad either. Just use a little bit of pepper. I think some people might want salt in that, but I don't add extra salt to this stuff. It's already salty enough. I mean, yeah, a little hit of Tabasco just gives it a little bit of a flavor change, so very good overall. Anyway, folks, whew, got a little piece of that back in the throat. Thank you very much for watching. I, I really do appreciate all the subscribers. For those of you who are not subscribed yet, hit that old button up there. If you want to see a new uh, video every week, that's what you'll get. And hit the notification bell if you want notifications, because YouTube doesn't do that for you anymore. Hit the like button if you enjoyed yourself, and leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you. But uh, as it says, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you down the road. See ya!